What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Today I want to discuss the insurance that Uber provides to you. Um, there's been a lot of questions, a lot of controversy about it, so really the main thing that I want to clarify is that if you are involved in an accident um, while transporting a passenger, um, Uber's policy is going to cover the passenger or passengers up to a million dollars. Um, if you have comp and collision on your vehicle already through your personal policy, Uber will, um, they will cover your vehicle if your insurance company declines the claim, which they will because you're, you shouldn't be filing a commercial claim through private insurance. You get what I'm saying? Um, when you are driving for Uber, when you are actually on a trip, you are driving commercially for hire and your personal policy is not going to cover that. Um, I mean, unless you lie, but, you know, insurance fraud is a felony, so I don't think that's something that would be worth doing. Um, so you run a pretty big risk there because if you are involved in an accident and you do report it to your insurance company in order to get comp and collision, chances are once they deny the claim, they're also going to shut you down as far as your insurance goes. Um, so that can be kind of rough. Now there are some hybrid policies coming out in the future. Um, there's some in states uh, that aren't where I'm at, um, uh, Northeast. Um, there are places that are starting to do this. Um, I've also seen where you pay by the mile. Um, I guess out uh, in California, um, there's insurance that you can pay by the mile. Um, it's happening. It's coming. It's just taking time. So right now, yes, you are definitely putting yourself at risk and your vehicle. Um, you know, even if you do get your vehicle covered through Uber, you're probably going to lose your insurance through your private provider. Um, now, the biggest thing that you need to know about dealing with uh, Uber's commercial policy is let's say you have an accident and you are injured in the accident. Um, forget your passengers, okay? They're covered through Uber. You're not, and that's something a lot of people are not aware of. Um, Uber nor Lyft will cover the driver in the event of an accident. Um, in a statement issued by Uber, they I, this is this is uh, not verbatim. I'm I'm obviously paraphrasing here, but they stated that. Since the drivers are independent contractors, drivers are responsible for having their own insurance. And it's kind of mandated by law now that you have insurance anyway. I do. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't. Um, but thankfully, I do have my own private insurance through uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shields. So, you know, if I'm involved in an accident and I get injured in that accident, you know, my insurance company is not going to cover me. Uber is not going to cover me. I have to be covered through my own insurance and that's something you really need to know because accidents do happen, people do get hurt. You could very, 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 very definitely, that sounded completely stupid, I'm not editing this. You notice I don't have a green screen behind me. I just bought new furniture, I just got that new bed, um, I got that same old dresser that I basically just rearranged them. I got this huge desk here that you can't see and you're probably never going to see it, but I got this massive desk that I've got everything set up on now. Um, I should be at work right now, but I'm not. I got to shave, get a shower, and then I'm going to log in. But um, I decided to go old school today. I'm only using one of my new lights and I am using the new camera, but other than that, I don't have a lot of time. Um, you could get hurt. That's the point. And if you get injured and you don't have personal insurance through for, for personal health insurance on yourself, um, Uber is not going to cover you. Your insurance company is not going to cover you, and you're going to be left with a big problem. Um, so that's something to be aware of, guys. And you know, I do post a lot of good things about Uber. I've been making a lot of money. Things are going great as far as that goes. But you know, there are some drawbacks. There's definitely some negative. Uh, uh, parts to driving with Uber or Lyft for that matter. So you need to be informed and make your own educated decision. And that's what I'm here to help you with. Um, I did not have insurance over the entire last year that I was driving. I had no insurance and I already knew about this. Um, but it's a risk I was willing to take. Thankfully, I didn't have an accident. Um, but give it some thought. And, you know, if, uh, if you're wanting to sign up for Uber, 
right down here in the description there is a link to sign up um, the bonus is three hundred dollars now but there have been a few occasions where people signed up and for whatever reason they only got a hundred bucks and I only got a hundred bucks it seems like it varies depending on like where you're at um, I can't tell you how much you're gonna get but the lowest anyone's gotten is a hundred and most people have gotten three hundred dollars from signing up um, helps me helps you as always like comment subscribe and uber on